move on next to a cheese ball goblin. Great little dish because you can make this the night before and have him right ready for the party. But I'm gonna use softened cream cheese, butter, and we're gonna use about a tablespoon of milk. That'll just help it make it more workable for us. All right, we've got our cream cheese and our butter incorporated. So now we're gonna add Mexican cheese. And you can find this already shredded in the cheese section of your grocery store. And I'm gonna let him sit as long as I can. Now I've got another one in the refrigerator because for my party, I'm probably gonna be making three of these to last all night. Get this one out of the fridge. And it should be nice and firm. And I've got my wax paper hanging right here ready. I'm just gonna start playing until I have the shape head that I want. All right, I think he's just about perfect. Sit him right in the center of our plate. Over here, I have a bowl of beaten cream cheese. It has no flavoring or anything in it. And we're gonna frost our goblin with a plain cream cheese. So you can see how smooth and soft this is. And I beat it real well, so it's ready to frost our head. So you could have the inside of this goblin any color that you wanted. So here comes the fun part. We're gonna start with some ears. And by just lightly tinting a regular tortilla chip green, it's gonna make him some fabulous big old ears. We're just gonna stick that ear right in there. All right, how's that looking? The next thing we're gonna do is his eyebrows. I could actually use the red bell pepper or the green. All right, so how's that for his eyebrows? And another eyebrow. For his eyes, we're gonna use a small pimento olive. And his nose, which is my favorite find an ugly, ugly pepper. And these are just, just salad peppers. And I kind of like that one. That looking good? All right, and we're gonna use carrots for his teeth. And you see, he hadn't done too much brushing on them. Now, for feet, we're gonna use a big olive. And for his toenails, I've got some beautiful red bell pepper. Now, isn't that a beautiful manicure? We're just gonna tuck them right in there. And I think we're gonna give him three toes. Now, I think it's safe at this point to start slipping our paper away. And now he's got to have a real pretty do by using just shredded purple cabbage so how's that for a good looking goblin? A few crackers. Look at that, he's all ready for the party. Mm -hmm.